What? Huh? Oh, baby. You need a new barber. Oh, he must have fucked his barber's bitch. Because ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way, y'all. Hey YouTube, what's good everybody? Welcome to my channel, it's Coco Sims. This is my brand new Let's Play and I'm so excited to finally be sharing it with y'all. Uh, this Let's Play is going to be called P-Valley, y'all. So if you've ever seen the show P-Valley, you already know how this is gonna go down. I'm so, 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 so excited. Uh, this Let's Play, we're going to be following a group of scrippers. YouTube, please don't ban me, please. But <laughs> yeah, we're going to be following a group of strippers and not just strippers. We also have rappers, producers. We're going to be having Instagram models, you know, the IG baddies, all types of stuff. So I'm really excited. You know, I'm in my love and hip hop vibe. So <laughs> I'm so excited. So here we have a couple of our main characters. We're mainly going to be playing with the girls, but you know, we'll have a few episodes with the guys too. But yeah, this episode is definitely mainly up for the girls. I so this is Ashanti. I love Ashanti. I made her myself, skin by Cly Kim Sim. If you guys are not pledged to Clyde Kim Sims Patreon, you really need to fix that, like seriously, because she has the absolute best skins. So this is Ashanti. Her traits are WAP. <laughs> so everywhere you go is puddles everywhere. Not because it's raining or because you have a loose bladder or anything. It's just that you have the hardest job of all female sims. You have to carry around that wet ass punani all the time. Everywhere you go, male sims are looking at you with googly eyes. So yeah, this trait is by Mother Simmer. Almost Almost all of my <laughs> traits that I use are by Mother Simmer. This hottie trait is by her too. So everyone in SimCity knows that the hotties are the baddest bitches in town, spreading positivity and good pussy all year round. Living life as a hottie can be one big party, and you love driving the boat. You're always ready to drop it low and make Megan proud by showing off your revolutionary knee game. Plus, twerking and shaking with the watcher gave you comes naturally, okay? She's unforgettable. These Sims leave a mark on everyone that they meet. It's hard to forget someone like this. And she's also talented, so she's pretty much good at everything. She's also a Pisces. These Zodiac traits are amazing. I don't remember who they're by, but if I do, I'll go ahead and link them below because I'm super into astrology, you know. Bitches love astrology. I'm bitches. So, <laughs> she's a Pisces. I'm a Pisces, A. Eh? So, it says, if you looked up the word psychic in the dictionary, there would definitely be a picture of Pisces next to it. Pisces is the most intuitive, sensitive, and empathetic sign of the entire zodiac. Yes, it's true. <laughs> so, she's also, y'all, she's crabs immune. Long story, but... My Sims are whores. It's actually a short story. My Sims are whores. They always having sex without asking me. So I have to give them the crab's immune trait because nobody got time to be itching and burning, okay? But it says that she would be happy to be pregnant and she's a Switch streamer. I love this Switch streamer mod by Kawaii Stacy. It's like making them Twitch streamers, but you know, Switch because we the Sims, you know, I don't know. But <laughs> B-Lister... And you can definitely get famous off of the Switch streaming mod. I've done it with a few of my with a few of my other Sims, definitely. But the reason why she's actually famous is because of this guy right here, and this is her man. He is a rapper, and his name is Big Choppa, but his first name is Dion. But you know. Niggas love to have, like, big something as their fucking rapper name. So, his name is Big Choppa. His traits are black as fuck. I know he's light-skinned, y'all, but he's black, all right? He's just mixed. He light-skinned, all right? So, it says, who I actually think he's Blasian, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, 
Big Chopper is blazing, y'all. And he claims his black side. So get with it, all right? <laughs> but this is the black as fuck trait by Mava Simmer. It says, who got melanated looks? You do. Who know how to throw down in the kitchen? You do. Who got soul? You do, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> You know what that makes me think of? If y'all have ever seen Dream Girls, when he was like, Jimmy got soul. Jimmy got soul. <laughs> I love that trait. He's a hood figure. This is also by Mother Simmer. Get with Mother Simmer. Check out her Patreon for lots of bomb free traits. I. Right? But hood figure, it says the bossed up sim that all hood sims look up to. They're low key, the big homies, real chill, and all about the simoleons. So. He is really out here in these streets like that, y'all. He's a hood figure. He's charming, a natural musician, and this is the rapper trait that comes with the bars is back mod. If I, uh, I'll go ahead and find the link, but if you guys just go to Google and look up bars is back Sims 4 mod, you might find it. I had such a hard time trying to find a good rapper trait for my sims and i love this one because it comes with traits it comes with a job he actually works um it says sign on the dotted line he makes ten thousand dollars an hour y'all and this is, comes with the bars is back rapper mod i'm so happy that i found this mod check it out if you guys like to do like rappers and stuff in your game but yeah, he has the rapper mod and it says, being in the rap game is not for the weak. You always got to stand tall for your homies, remain loyal and never snitch. Your appearance, the way you talk, the fine groupies you get with and how you dress. You are such a talented lyricist that your rap lyrics flow to the beat better than what we hear on the radio today. And it makes you stand out. You have dreams of becoming the GOAT and you can make it to the top by grinding in the studio. So I'm not going to read all that. But he does not want children right now, it says. And he's greedy, business savvy, fulfilled because he finished his fabulously wealthy aspiration. So he is feeling pretty fulfilled. So that is Dion. Let me get all up in his face and whatnot so y'all can check him out a little bit. I'm bad at, um, you know what? We're not even going, I'm bad at working the camera, y'all. And I'm on my laptop, so that's Dion. And over here is our girl Janae. Now, okay, you might be wondering why her titties are tittying so hard. Janae's pregnant. <laughs> I didn't actually make her titties that big, like her nipples are spilling out and shit. I hope I don't get banned for that, but yeah. Janae's pregnant. You can see her little belly right here. And she's actually pregnant with this guy's baby. And his name is Big Baby J. <laughs> she's pregnant with Big Baby J's baby. And that is so funny to me. But yeah, they've been fucking with each other for a long time. And yeah, they finally ended up getting pregnant with all the, you know, smashing and passing they was doing. So... Janae is pregnant. Janae used to be a stripper, but because she's pregnant, she's not right now. She has the city girl trait by Mother Simmer. I'm telling y'all, get her traits. It says you come from a lifestyle that is fast paced and there's always something to do. Artists fill the streets, whether they paint, sing, rap, act, or even write. There's nothing you can't do because the city mentality has taught you that as long as you fight for what you want, nothing and no one can stop you. So she has the baby mama trait also by mother simmer if there's anything a man or woman never forgets it's their baby mama you know damn well that y'all are both moving on but you refuse to let them be great instead you want to make sure that he or she and every other bitch he or she trying to be with knows who the fuck you are plus they bet not miss that child support payment or you're gonna need to install extreme violence on plum bob period i love that trait i also have the baby daddy trait it's so cute but she's a gold digger sims like you keep a money over everything mentality so she is all about the coin she was a stripper but now she doesn't have to work because she's pregnant by a rich rapper and i love that for her i do she's also a leo i love these zodiac traits y'all roll out the red carpet because leo has arrived okay and she has the wop trait this is my mother simmer too 
everywhere you go it's puddles everywhere she has the exact same so they both got the wop trait and they both bagged a wrapper all right y'all ladies take notes she has a lot of other traits but the only important ones are would be happy to be pregnant she's happy that she's pregnant she's a sugar baby and she's also a switch streamer so i have a couple sugar babies in this let's play because why not like you know it just it just fits the vibes and then lastly we have big baby jay this is janae's baby daddy he's hungry what is this money bags yo from getting promoted he's an aries he's messy seems like you have a tendency to ruffle a few feathers she um he would be happy to have a child and he's a fuck boy y'all so it says sims like you tend to do whatever they want whenever they want caring about who you fuck over is far from your mind plus your motto is fuck them hoes so yeah he and janae aren't even in an official relationship but they've been messing with each other for about a year and yeah they're about to have a baby together y'all so he's also greedy and business savvy and he's a notable newcomer Big Choppa is a little bit more famous than him because he's a B-lister. So yeah, y'all. This is just a few of our characters. I have a lot more characters to introduce, but I'll probably introduce most of them at the strip club. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. We're just out to dinner tonight at a restaurant in Del Sol Valley. I want to show you guys this lot because it's absolutely fucking bomb y'all all right so i'm gonna show you guys the outside and oh this is so beautiful i think this is the back and the front is over here so let's just yeah this is pierre bistro and bar look how beautiful it is just from the outside the sun ceiling or whatever that's called all the lights it's just so like luxurious you know we have a bar over here there's a little sitting area um all of this you can sit outside i love it so much this lot is by sim city girls so go ahead and pledge to sim city girls patron if you want lots like this because i installed like at least four or five of her lots in my game because they're so bomb so go ahead and pledge to sim city girls and if you're watching the sim city girls hey boo <laughs> all right but yeah we're just at dinner it's kind of late but you know everybody was busy today so you know they're just having a late dinner i'm gonna go ahead and order for the table because y'all already know food in the sims 4 takes forever what are you talking to big baby about Ashanti, ugh, I don't know why Ashanti just got up, y'all. I hate when they do that. But the men are gonna get whiskey sours, I guess. Oh, I forgot to edit them a custom menu. Oh my gosh, you know what? No, I'm gonna edit them a custom menu and then I'm gonna be back because it ain't no way we eating chili and pizza in this nice ass restaurant y'all i will be back okay trust all right y'all i am back i had to go ahead and give them a custom menu for this restaurant because what they had was just not finna cut it for me and i don't know why this bitch keeps getting up bitch if you don't sit your ass come on now don't piss me off please don't piss me off but yeah, we're going to go ahead and order for the table. I know one thing. I know Ashanti better not get her ass back up. All right, y'all. So I added them a custom menu. And I'm excited to show you guys. This is the Insemnia Custom Bar Drinks mod. I believe that's what it's called. If you just go to Insemnia's Patreon and look up bar, I'm sure you'll find it. But yeah, it adds all these custom drinks to your game. And they do get you drunk. They do. I'm obsessed, y'all. I'm fucking obsessed. Like, look at champagne. Look at this mimosa. This looks so much better than the Sims 4 mimosa, y'all. And look, frozen mango margarita, Hennessy cocktail, Remy Martin, Stella Rosa, midnight sangria, strawberry frozen margarita, and what else? White wine? Mm-hmm. I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed. So, we're gonna have... Dion get some champagne. 
Um, Big Baby is going to get a Hennessy cocktail. Um, oh, Janae's pregnant, so she's not going to be... Oh, I should have put something non-alcoholic. I mean, you can have some water. <laughs> I feel so bad now. Um, and then, yeah, okay, um, Ashanti is going to have this white wine. And they have Caesar salad, garden salad, salt and pepper shrimp, asparagus. Um, the girls, I'm going to have Ashanti get this lobster. And um, Janae's going to get this chicken shit. And then Dion's going to have crab legs. And Big Baby's going to have the steak. Oof, $113. They have dessert. I hate that you can't order dessert with your meal. That's so fucking rude to me. Like, honestly, it's very rude. What did I have her eating? This? Yeah. You can't order dessert with your food, and I think that's dumb. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and order this. I'm going to get rid of some of these cups because I don't want no problems with our food coming. Ugh. What? Huh? Oh, baby. You need a new barber. Oh, he must have fucked his barber's bitch. Because ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way, y'all. Alright, we gonna act like we don't see his fucked up hair. Fucked his shit up. Alright, we ordered. Thank you. We'll bring your order out as soon as it's ready. Yup. All right, so we can get to chat in since he's going to bring our food out. Another thing about Dion and Ashanti, I'm pretty sure they're engaged. Because Janae got a phone call from Ashanti talking about Dion had proposed to her. I was like, huh? But I don't see the plan. Oh, yep. Planned wedding event, elope. Yep, they're engaged. They've been together for about four years and they're engaged so let's go ahead and flirt let's flirt with our boo ashanti's already talking to big baby about something not ashanti i meant janae sorry y'all let's be romantic let's blow him a kiss now kiss now kiss excuse me you can can you get to doing our food please Oh my god. Of course everybody had to stand their ass up. I hate y'all. I do. Sit y'all asses back down. Like, it was never that fucking serious. Did we still place our order? We didn't. Oh, we did. Okay. I was finna be so mad. Hopefully he brings our food and stops just standing there. All right, now we have to do our little conversation shit all over again, y'all. I like to just stack them. So let's ask a risque question. And let's blow a kiss. Blow a kiss. And then let's have Big Choppa and Ashanti talk. Look, he's getting hungry. So yeah, let's ask her about her wop. <laughs> and let's... Should we serenade her? I mean, he's famous. Yeah, let's serenade her. Oh, finally, the waiter left. So, yeah, everybody's just chatting amongst themselves. Janae and Big Baby are talking about their um, baby that's on the way and baby room decoration and stuff like that. I'm going to have her talk to him and, like, um, enthused about the pregnancy, I think is what it's called. If you guys don't have this pregnancy and family overhaul, you need it. I love that it, like, adds so much more experience to your pregnancy. Like, you can go to early parenthood classes. You can ask him to marry due to having a child together. You can organize to provide for the baby. You can worry about putting on baby weight. It's so, so cute. I love that it adds realism. But yeah, let's enthuse about the pregnancy. Who's cat? Oh, this is our cat. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, everybody's just chilling and talking. They're talking about their baby. They're just chilling and they're talking about the wedding and, you know, relationship goals. It, that's what it looks like from the outside looking in, at least, you know? 
I wish that there was more to planning a wedding. I mean, I know that my wedding stories just came out, but I heard that it fucking sucked, so I didn't want to buy it. But maybe I will get it just because they're engaged and maybe there's more wedding interactions because I hate that all we have is plan a wedding and elope immediately. Like, there should be pick a venue or shop for your bridal dresses or cake tasting so if my weddings if you have my wedding stories can you comment below and let me know if they have those type of things because if not they're a flop for that really but let's ask about Dion's views on marriage since he fucking asked us to marry him because I'm curious as to why the fuck that happened. I wasn't playing with her household when it happened. So I came back and I was like, bitch, he put a ring on it? I know that's right. She said, I don't cook, I don't clean. But let me tell you how I got this ring, okay? Oh, she got a mood lit after she asked. I can see that from being asked about marriage. I don't want to rush things, but this sim definitely sounds promising. Perhaps I could see myself with this sim in the future. Who knows? How does he feel about that? What does this say? Sounds promising. It's nice to know that I might have a future with this sim. They didn't say no, so that means a lot. I guess we're really getting somewhere. Aww. So they want to get married for real, y'all. I thought that it was just my sim's autonomy. I was ready to turn my sim's autonomy off when Janae got pregnant and when Ashanti fucking got married or engaged. Because it happened to both of them when I wasn't playing with their household and I came back like, bitch, what? I almost turned their fucking autonomy off, but I was like, you know what? I'm not going to hold you guys back. You know, it's natural for Sims to get married and try to have kids because, you know, the whole generations thing. So I ain't mad at it. Whatever. So they're just chatting. I don't even know what they're really chatting about. But, oh, let's use these rapper interactions. We have rapper interactions. Apologize. What'd you say to her? Oh, God. List <laughs> not ask Janae why she can't keep a relationship. Did y'all see that? Let's tell her my new song is banging. I love these little interactions that come with the bars is back mod. What else can we do? There's no romantic. Oh, this comes with the fuck boy mod by Mother Simmer. Let's reassure Janae there's nobody else. You know, he's just he's just being a man. You know, I don't think any of my sims are really bad people. They're just being, you know, men and rapper men at that. Should we tell, uh, I know grown men aren't supposed to gossip, but let's tell Janae the latest gossip. And, oh, our food came. What? Why are you yelling at her? What? It doesn't even say, oh my gosh. I heard people say that this happens because of Mother Simmer's mods. I don't know why the fuck it happens, y'all. I really don't. But it pisses me off, for sure. Can you guys hear the relaxing music that I have on in the background? I'm trying to um, turn it up a little bit. I think this song is just quiet. Yeah. But, um, anyway... I don't know why Dion just spazzed out on us like that. Like, it... It says, heard you was a snitch. She has, what? <laughs> I hate rappers, because why do they act like this? Heard you was a snitch. Stop, stop it. Leave her alone. Oh my gosh. Yeah, now she don't even want to sit. Come on, y'all. It don't, why do I got to be all of that? I just wanted to sit y'all down for a nice dinner. I hope it's not the Mother Simmer traits and the, or the urban interactions that does that because I'm never taking them out of my game. My sins are just going to have to be mean as fuck to each other because I'm not taking Mother Simmer's content out of my game. I'm sorry. I can't. I need them. But yeah, now it's quiet and awkward and shit because he just snapped on Ashanti and at, told her she was a fucking snitch. So now it's real awkward out here. Eat your crab legs. Drink your champagne. Come on now. They over there chilling. Who'd you have sex with? Quickie with a hottie? 18 hours. Damn, you're going to be thinking about that for a minute, ain't you? But yeah, I just wanted to introduce you guys to this little group, this little couple, or these two couples, you know, just to 
get the ball rolling or whatever. Eat your food. I hate when they stop eating. Like, why? Be checked up on by waiter. Oh, I didn't know the waiters check on you. That's cute. Yeah, everything tastes so good. <laughs> She's like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> He wants a tip so bad. We're not tipping him because look at his fucking hair, y'all. I know y'all see it. He's not getting a tip. He's not. Just because of that, he's not. What's this? What are our moodlets looking like? Oh, what's this? Oh, she survived food poisoning? When you have food poisoning? What's this? Gotta use what you got from being asked about WAP. I'm not ashamed of what I do with my body. I look good and look great doing it period ashanti because i know that's right not your breath stinks come on we're gonna get rid of that act like y'all didn't see that what's this acne immunity okay janae what's this you right zaddy from here and where you stand i don't know why i keep doubting this nigga every single day i keep making this nigga prove to me where i stand and honestly i feel so dumb by the end of it all these bitches are probably lying while i'm stressing out this good man i need to appreciate my nigga more for real mm, okay and what do he say master manipulator from filling shoddy head with lies. This bitch really stressing me out with all this he say, she say bullshit. Thankfully, shoddy believe my little story. Hopefully, that will hold this bitch over until I can find another hoe to let me borrow the car every other week. <gasps> Big baby, not you trying to borrow the <laughs> Not you being broke. This man has millions of dollars in his bank account. Don't do that. You know what? No, because that was rude. <laughs> Where's the sugar baby mod, y'all? Can I? Why don't? Why I don't see the sugar baby mod? It was just right here, wasn't it? Oh yeah, here it go. Give her her allowance because they're all. He's her sugar daddy also, but it's not really like a sugar daddy arrangement. I wanted it to be more like he's a rapper, he spoils her type shit. So yeah, give her some money since you want to sit here and lie to people's face. And it's 11 o'clock, so we're gonna get the fuck up out of here once we're done eating. And we're actually going to just go home with the girls. Ashanti and Janae are in separate households, but we're gonna have the- What? Oh my god, what? What now? Insult? Why? 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 Lover boy from Bay Near. This is certified lover boy season. Uh, then why are you being so mean? Oh, you're drunk? Are you a mean drunk? It, are you a mean drunk? Oh, he's bitter. Why are you bitter? What did she do? Because what? He keeps hurt, festering grudge. Dion has a deep seated grudge against Ashanti. It's hard to. Oh, okay. Ashanti was pregnant and she got an abortion even though Dion didn't want her to. So that's why he's hurt. He's really mad at her because of that. And Ashanti swore to Dion that he is the biological father of her child. Is her word good enough? So she aborted the baby. He's hurt. He got a grudge about it. So I guess that's why he keeps snapping on her. Because what the fuck? Stop. Stop. Apologize. Can you apologize? Why not? She probably don't want to talk to your ass anymore. Look at that. Look at what you did. They are so toxic, you guys. Yeah, apologize. Apologize to that girl. Because what was all of that for? You're a mean drunk, Dion. Like, fuck. Everybody's just about done with their food, though. If they'll fucking stop arguing long enough. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to introduce you to these guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go home with Ashanti so that you guys can meet Ashanti's roommates. Janae lives alone in a penthouse. Um, Janae used to live with Ashanti. They used to be roommates. But since Janae got pregnant, she decided it was time for her to move out and get a penthouse by herself for her and her baby. So we'll go ahead and play with Janae um, eventually and see her house. But tonight we're going home with Ashanti. So I'll see you guys there. All right, y'all. We have pulled up in front of Ashanti's apartment. We brought Dion with us because we're going to have him stay the night with us tonight. 
Um, but I'm going to give you guys a little tour. Why is the door like that? I don't know, man. But I'm going to give you guys a tour of their apartment. I did not decorate this apartment. If I can find the link, I will link it. Oh, my God. This is called um, the Influencer Apartment. If you look up Influencer Apartment on YouTube, you'll probably come across the video. But let's go ahead and give you guys this tour. So when you come in, there's just this little entryway. It's kind of cute. It just says home sweet. Oh, fuck. I'm so bad at tours, y'all. Bear with me. But it just says home sweet home. And if you come in here, you'll see our little... You'll see a glitch. Hello. You'll see our little um, closet space, I guess you could call it. So yeah, this is our like closet space area, whatever. And we have the little Chanel cat bowl for our pet. Love that. But yeah, if we come through here, this is the living room. Um, please don't mind all the party stuff. I forgot to put this shit away, y'all. We had a little... Oh my god, my windows are broken too. What's going on? What's re Is it because I'm in tab? I don't know. Whatever. Um, we had a baby shower for Janae, you know, our pregnant friend. We had a baby shower for her here and I forgot to clean up, so don't mind that. But this is the kitchen. It's just like really cute, sleek and modern. We have a little air fryer over there, a Target bag, a Target bag, a Target bag, because y'all know bitches love Target, so I just felt like putting a Target bag in here. I didn't change much about this apartment, just like some little stuff. This is Ashanti's, oh no, this is Kehlani's room. I really love it. It's so pretty in here. I hope that my windows aren't actually broken, because that's kind of scary. Hello? But here's her bed. I really love it. She has like some art in here. We have a little beanbag chair that we smoke in, a TV. And yeah, I love these little body candles. They're so cute. But and then we turn around. We just have her little yoga area, I guess you could call it. In front of this big pretty mirror and the Louis Vuitton yoga mat by Bougie Chloe. And I also, there's a functional diffuser right here and I really love it so yeah and then if we go through this door over here we're gonna enter Kehlani's bathroom and it's really simple I'm trying to show you guys without it glitching out but yeah a little bathtub this is her shower her little scrubbies her robe and you know laundry bin everything like that and then if you go through here i don't know why ashanti in here being nosy but this is her little like closet area i have to put some new wallpaper in here because the wallpaper is gone but this is her little closet area we have like a little makeup station and then this is also kind of like her office where she does homework and stuff so she has a little um mac computer and this is all her clothes and stuff love that and then if we go back out here, I'll try to get us to Kehlani's room or no, Ashanti. I keep getting them mixed up because their names sound similar. So my bad for sounding like a fucking idiot. Please just roll with it, y'all. <laughs> if we go into this little room right here, um, can we come in, please? If we go into this room right here, you can just see through the door that it's just a little laundry room. And there's some Tide Pods and extra toilet paper and stuff in here. So that's all that is. Really not that interesting. And then if we come through this door right here, this is Ashanti's room. She has her bed, some art and stuff. A broken window again, her hamper, a little pet bed for our cat. We have a cat. And just a TV and a candle and stuff going. Really simple. And then if you come through here, this is her office and where she streams. We have a media station right here. There's this super cute picture of her on the wall because we had a little photo shoot. 
a, like a lingerie. We had a Savage X Fenty photo shoot actually because um, Savage Fenty wanted to sponsor her or whatever and she just posted up on Instagram in the little lingerie. So <laughs> let's just pretend. And then this is where she streams in front of this beautiful like green wall. I love it so, 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 so much. And then she also has a mirror and a computer and stuff in here. If you guys see these like music posters or I don't really know what they're called, but these are by Sierra the Simmer. I put these in here just to add a little bit more personality. So we have the SZA poster, the Summer Walker poster, and the Megan Thee Stallion poster, of course. And I believe that is it for the tour. Um, we have another bathroom, but it's just a regular bathroom. So I'm not even going to show you guys. Um, really, it's just like a regular bathroom. This is the shower. This is the bathroom that Ashanti mostly uses to like shower and everything. So yeah, this is Ashanti's bathroom and the guest bathroom also. But I'm going to add her to a group with her man because they was into it at, um, dinner tonight they was into it and that wasn't cool so i'm gonna have them sit together and talk about it because huh and also we need to bring kaylani here y'all hear the rain i'm dead we're gonna bring kaylani home so you guys can meet her that's ashanti's roommate so yeah we're just gonna go sit together and we're gonna talk about why the fuck he was spazzing out on us like that for no reason? Like, that shit wasn't cool. And in front of our friends, like, huh? So let's go ahead and get some interactions going. I wonder how we can, like, ask him what his problem is without being mean. You know? Relationship wellness. Okay. Let's do a... Okay. Confess to having cheated with. Oh, okay. Little story time. This is Kofi, Kofi Aboye. It's like an African name. I tried, I tried. This is Dion's friend, Kofi, and I guess Ashanti cheated with him before. I don't know when or why it happened, but I don't know if he knows and that's also why he's mad. But like, if we have to confess, I don't think he knows about that. And can we express suspicions about closeness? I mean, these are all dudes. Why would you do that? Um, I want to ask him what his problem is. We might have to be mean. Ask what Dion's problem is. Yep, all right. We're going to ask what his problem is, and I think it's going to tell us why he's so mad. She's like, you've been acting real weird. Oh, shit. She's like, you've been acting real weird ever since I aborted the baby and I just want to know what the fuck is up. And he said, it says right here, just let me stew in my bitterness in peace. Some things are just hard to forget or forgive, okay? Oh, wow. So that's what his problem is. He's mad at us for aborting the baby that he barely even wanted. Niggas are just, just ain't shit. All right, can we, like, apologize or something? Can we apologize? I mean, we shouldn't have to apologize because it's our body and our choice. Like, you're not the motherfucker that has to fucking carry a baby for fucking, what you call it, for nine whole months and get fat and go through all the changes of your body and push a baby out of your vagina. As soon as you push a baby out your pussy, then you can get mad at me for getting an abortion. But we're going to accuse him of being drunk. Because, nigga, you drunk as fuck if you think that you're just going to sit here and act like this. I think the cat is in the bed sleeping, but y'all can't see him because of the blanket. But y'all see the little snooze thing? Yeah, we finna accuse him of being drunk. Like, my nigga, you drunk as fuck. I love you so much, and I hate to see... Oh, so we actually accusing him of being drunk. I love you so much, and I hate to see you like this. Please be honest with me. You are on something, right? I mean, I guess. He said, I failed you. I'm so sorry. I know it might not mean much yet, but I promise you I will get better. Oh, wow. Look how fast niggas switch up the narrative. Like, 
I'm weak. You saw as soon as we accused this nigga of being drunk, like nigga, you drunk as fuck. He gonna say, I failed you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, because why you sitting here acting like this? Because I made a decision to do what my body, nigga. Like, yeah, now he he's so sorry. And he promising he gonna get better. Before, it was just, let me stew in my bitterness, bitterness and peace. I can't forgive or forget. Oh, now you so sorry? I'm sorry, y'all. But niggas ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit at all. Mm-mm. Okay, y'all, I wanted to introduce you guys to Ashanti's roommate, Kaylani. She just got home from a shift at the strip club, it looks like. So my sis is in her cute little uniform. Her nails and hair and everything is done. She's looking real cute. I hope you made some money tonight. I really do. But yeah, this is Kaylani, y'all. She is so cute, I believe. This sim is either by Sierra the Simmer or by Cly Kim Sim. I'm not sure which one, um, but it's by one of them. She's so beautiful. She's one of the first sims that I ever downloaded. So thank you. Thank you to CC creators for just making beautiful things that we can download because I could never make a sim this pretty. Like I'm pretty good, but like this is just next level to me. So yeah, this is her. She just got home from her shift at the strip club. Ugh, I keep hitting that cheat on accident. But yeah, I'm going to have her get ready for bed and have a little smoke session before bed, you know, just to wind down after a long night at work. I'm going to have her read a book and take a bubble, bubble bath um, with soaks and we're going to do lavender foam. And then what else should we do? Are we ready for bed? I guess after that, we can go ahead and sit and roll a blunt. And then we'll come back when she's doing that and we'll smoke. But yeah, Deanna Shanti still have to fi um, fix whatever the fuck they got going on and finish the conversation that they had going on. Y'all, look at Ashanti's body. The body is giving. You two, please don't ban me. It's just a bikini with some money in it. Like, please don't trip. But yeah, this is P-Valley, y'all. So we got strippers galore. And Ashanti is actually the owner of the strip club. So, yeah, y'all. Ashanti, you look good. Like, my sis, this body is absolutely insane. I think this is the Ari preset. I'm not sure who it's by, but I know it's called the Ari preset. And the body is giving. The body is just, it's, it's giving. It's giving everything. But let's come in here and talk with these two fucking knuckleheads and figure out what the fuck is going on. Because how y'all engaged and y'all still fussing and fighting over shit that's in the past. Shit that should be in the past, you know? So I really... How you hungry and we just left the... You know what? How you hungry and we just left the restaurant? Just left. You know what? We're going to talk to Ashanti. He done said sorry and done all this other stuff. So why don't we give her a gift for stressing her out? Let's give her 10,000 simoleons. Yeah. You, I only accept apologies in the form of cash. Hello? <laughs> oh, he finna give her the gift? I don't want to miss it. This is an apology gift, I guess. For stressing us the fuck out. Yeah. Give her the money. Period. Look at that. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Sims always like when you give them simoleons. 10,000. Look at that. Mm-hmm. That's going into Ashanti's household. All right. So I guess they're good now. You know, he gave her a little bit of money. I wonder if they have the apologize in bed. Should we woohoo? Yeah, we're gonna end the night with them really, really all the way good, and we gonna go ahead and woohoo. Y'all not gonna do it? Mm -mm. Y'all not gonna do it? I don't know, I guess it's broken. My game is so broken, you guys. Like, earlier my strip club wasn't working. What's Ashanti's question? Let me try resetting them. 
Maybe because he don't live here, he can't woohoo in this bed, but maybe we can do it. No? Alright, well, I guess we'll just send Dion home. I don't know why the fuck my game is so broken, but it is. I think I'm gonna have Ashanti get ready for bed now. Let's go to the bathroom and let's brush our teeth. Okay. Kaylani, did you not take a bath yet? Or did you take a bath and she took a bath and put this outfit right back on? I can't stand The Sims. I really can't. What's your nighttime outfit on? All right, well, did we roll a blunt? Let's go sit and smoke the blunt that we rolled. And then we're gonna go to sleep and we'll see you guys in the morning. But let's go ahead and get our little nighttime relaxation going not her walking through the fucking door oh my god but yeah we're gonna roll a blunt or we already rolled it huh where is it yeah we have three blunts because we have a high rolling skill so let's go ahead and smoke get into our relaxation before bed ashanti is kind of a pothead but kehlani is a real pothead y'all like she loves to smoke some weed and I love that for her. While she's smoking, I guess we can get into a little bit of her traits and everything like that. So, she has the WAP trait. I love giving people the WAP trait. It's just, it's funny to me. She's a daddy's girl. We will meet her dad eventually. You know, we have some holidays and shit coming up. It's gonna be fall. So maybe on Thanksgiving, I'll do a Thanksgiving special and we'll see everybody's family and shit. But that's going to be so crazy because I have so many Sims in this Let's Play, y'all. So we'll see. She's a daddy's girl. It says, typically your bond with everybody else in your family is nowhere near as close as you are to your father. Everyone thinks you're spoiled or a brat because whenever you need anything, your dad is always there for you. So she's a beauty queen, unforgettable, Pisces. She's on birth control. And she's a sugar baby. So, yep. She's not famous or anything, but for some reason she has a pristine reputation. So, I'm not mad at it. I'm not. And after we smoke, we're going to do some yoga and then we're going to go to sleep. Because it's only midnight and I feel like normal people don't go to sleep at midnight. So, go ahead and finish your blunt. I love the smoking animation from Basemental Drugs. It's so realistic to me. I'd be sitting there just like this, faded. I know that's right. <laughs> Ashanti, what are you doing? Are you in here? Oh, she's brushing her teeth. All right, let's change into our pajamas. And we got to feed that cat because I don't know when the last time he got fed is. I'm so bad at taking care of pets. Oh, he has food in his bowl. He'll be all right. Kaylani, what are you doing? Oh, I guess Kaylani's finna clean. Our needs are looking good. Ashanti, you can go ahead and go to sleep. And Kehlani, I guess she's cleaning up, so I'm gonna let her clean up. Is she hungry? Oh, she's not even tired. Well, I guess we can stay up and work on homework then. Kehlani's in college. I think I forgot to mention that Kehlani is in college. She goes to Norfolk State University and she's majoring in psychology. Um, Norfolk State University, or sorry, I can't fucking speak. Not the Norfolk State. The Norfolk State University is an override, I believe, by X Mira Mira. Don't quote me on that. I'll link it below if I can find it. But yeah, the Norfolk State University is an HBCU override, and it overrides all of the university names to HBCU names. And I'm black as fuck, so I love to put black shit in my game and make it more realistic or whatever. So that's the Norfolk State University um hbcu override so hbcu override she's nine of 12 credits so she only has to do three more classes and we're doing the three classes we doing the damn thing i'm gonna have her do some homework before she does her yoga let's do this and yeah we gonna make sure that that damn homework is done before we go to sleep and i gotta make sure that i get rid of this fucking um, baby shower stuff. Girl, why you not doing your homework? Do y'all see how she just put it down? I know you're not done. Do your homework. Don't piss me off. 
All right. She's doing her homework. I gotta get rid of this baby shower stuff. I promise in the next episode, the baby shower stuff will be gone. Because it's throwing off the whole aesthetic. And my broken windows are pissing me off as well. So, I'm gonna have to fix all this shit, y'all. But just bear with me. Because y'all know The Sims is always broken. I'm gonna go ahead and stop controlling um, these people because it's not necessary anymore we're not with them i love the control any send mod y'all it makes everything so much easier let's stop controlling big baby can we not stop controlling him why not i guess because janae's not here we can't stop controlling him but we can stop controlling janae so let's do that don't control this sim um we can do big baby too all right, just so we're not controlling a whole gang of Sims. Oh, we're still controlling Winter. Ah, Winter is a stripper at the strip club. I was controlling her earlier, but I don't think she knows Ashanti. Maybe Kaylani knows her. Winter? Yep, here she is. Let's stop controlling her too so that this doesn't get all built up and it's hard to, you know, stop controlling people when you get too many. So we're just gonna do that. We're doing our homework. And then Ashanti is going to go to work in the morning, but I think we might work from home. Um, Kehlani has class in the morning. She has one class at 9.30. So that's cool. And then we're gonna go to work tomorrow with Kehlani. She works, it says she has the day off, but we're gonna try to go to work anyway. I don't know why it says day off. Like, what's going on? I don't know why. Can I fix that? No? That's really aggravating. But whatever. So yeah, she's doing her homework. I have the fast homework mod by Little Miss Sam's. So homework gets done in like, I think, 10 minutes. You can choose to have it done in 30. I just do 10. All right. So we did our homework. I'm gonna have her do some yoga. And then we're gonna just go ahead and close this night and um, hop into the morning time. I'm gonna take you guys with Ashanti to run some errands maybe. Maybe we'll go to the spa or maybe we'll go out to brunch. Oh, you know what? I just downloaded a new nail salon by Sim City Girls. I think we're gonna go to the nail salon with some girls tomorrow. And yeah, so Kehlani's doing her nighttime yoga. Oh, my game lagged a little bit. My computer like almost never lags, y'all. I'll leave all my specs and stuff for my computer and my mic. I'm using the Yeti Nano mic. And my computer is the ROG Zephyrus gaming laptop. Um, I'll leave my specs and everything, my graphics card and all that stuff in the description. And you guys can check it out because this computer never lags and I have a terabyte is it a terabyte I have a terabyte of space so I love it so much no lag I used to play on MacBook and I wanted to do let's plays on my MacBook but it was so slow honestly it was it was lagging so bad I couldn't do let's plays on my MacBook but I can do them on this one so I'm super excited yes Kaylani look at you getting that body right Look at her yoga skills. I don't know if she has a high wellness skill, but she looks good. Like she, y'all know when Sims don't know how to do yoga, they be falling over and shit. All right, I'm gonna let her do a couple more poses and then we're gonna go to sleep. <laughs> you sweating? Yep, she's sweating. You working out good? You getting a good workout? Um, as far as clothes go, I don't know where this outfit is from. I have so much CC. One of these days, I'll... <laughs> not you struggling, Kehlani. One of these days, I'll hop into cast with you guys and show you guys my CC. I will not be doing a CC folder if um, anybody was thinking of asking. I'm not going to do one because it goes against a lot of CC creators' um, terms of use to like re-upload their shit. So I'm not going to do that. I don't want any issues with anybody, but I'll probably make a video on, on how I make my Sims because I made Ashanti by myself. I made Janae by myself. Um, I made Sayori and Dion. 
I made a lot of these Sims. Dominique, we'll meet Dominique, but she's by Sierra the Simmer. Zakari is by Sierra the Simmer, I think. But yeah, I make some of my Sims. I download some of them. I'll make a video on how I do that one of these days. If anybody watches my videos, getting ahead of myself. I have zero subscribers right now, so hopefully in a few months, if I keep releasing Let's Plays, I'll get more subscribers because the Black Sims 4 community is really small, and I think we need more creators. So hopefully I'll, you know, get some watchers, but I'm honestly just having fun making the videos for now. It's 1.30 and we have class at 9.30, so let's try to get our eight hours and let's go to sleep. And I guess I will see you guys in the morning. Look at her room, look at the little diffuser. It's so relaxing. All right, the girls are sleeping. I will see you guys in the morning. All right, y'all, we are back. It is five o'clock in the morning and Kehlani is up. We have class at 9.30, so we have about like three or so hours before we have to go. So we're gonna go ahead and get up and get our day started. I'm gonna have her take a shower. Um, I'm gonna have her go ahead and brush her teeth. I hate that this shower is so hard to get to, but since it's cute, I will let it slide. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's use the bathroom and let's brush our teeth. We're gonna go ahead and do that. I don't have Wicked Whim streamer mode on, I don't think, so we can't look at her while she's doing her business or I will get banned. Um, for the strip club, is she, yeah, she's naked, so we can't look at her. But for the strip club, I'm going to have um, the dancers never undress thing on so that um, there's no titties and ass flying anywhere. I don't have enough subscribers to like try to release an uncut version on Patreon, but maybe when I get more viewers, if um, you guys want to see the uncut versions with titties and ass everywhere, I will make a Patreon. But for now, we're just not going to undress in the strip club. We're going to keep it cute, as cute as possible. So yeah. Ashanti's just about ready to get up too. So I'm going to have her get up. She's going to work from home. Oh, not the sink is broken. Replace. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and use the bathroom. And then we're going to brush our teeth. And I'm going to have her order some Starbucks for breakfast because these bitches can't cook. Well, actually, <laughs> Ashanti can't cook. Like, she's not that. She doesn't like to cook. She's cooking the level, level six. But because of this WAP skill, she doesn't like to cook. I just have Kehlani cook because she's a cooking level eight. But yeah, what's this? Peace of mind. Knowing someone you love has promised to get better and clean up their act really puts you in a good mood. Oh, all right. Oh, and she needs to smoke. Need for weed. Yeah, craving weed. What's this? Embrace Dion from being near a romantic relationship. We can do that. Kaylani, you brushing your teeth? Yep. All right, all right. Kaylani's homework is done already, but I'm gonna have her work on her term paper. Um, cause I like to stay on top of all the college shit, you know, Kehlani is a really motivated girl. Yeah, we're going to edit it cause right now it's poor quality. Turn paper, edit turn paper. Come on, do it girl. Are you sick? Are you itchy? What's going on? It's probably a birth control side effect, but, um, Kehlani is going to school and that's the reason why she's stripping because she wants to be able to afford school. She knows that if she asked her dad to pay for it, you know, she, his dad, her dad would pay for college for her if she asked him to. But, you know, she really wants to stand on her own two feet because she knows as long as she's taking money from her dad, she has to live by her dad's rules and stuff. And she wants to be a grown woman, you know. She's 21. She wants to do her own thing. So that's why she's stripping because she wants to make her own way, pay for her degree on her own, and just be a boss bitch and get to the bag. And I love that for her. Love that for her. Ashanti... She's a culture columnist. She makes $70 an hour, but her real money comes from YouTube. She hasn't quit her day job yet just because um, 
we have this style aspiration and she wants to get to level 10 of the style influencer career and we're only on level five so we haven't quit our job quite yet but all of her real money comes from youtube and from streaming so are we hungry we're not even really hungry so what we can do is we can go ahead and stream ashanti has like eighty nine thousand followers why are you thinking of a baby please <laughs> please okay hold on i have to check i have to because huh sometimes okay yeah she's not pregnant sometimes they just think of babies and they're not pregnant but sometimes if they think about a, a diaper or some shit they're actually pregnant but she's probably just thinking about janae's baby and shit so let's do a live stream just chatting let's get out of our pajamas and let's put on something really cute what are we gonna put on? This is her cold weather outfit. This is like a Y2K inspired outfit that I made for her, like kind of like an early 2000s Y2K vibe. Don't ask me where anything is from because all I know is that this hair is by Brandy Sims, I'm pretty sure. Is that her name, Brandy Sims? That's the only thing that I know. I think Brandy Sims is a, is a boy, actually. I was told that Brandy Sims is a, is a male, so Hair by Brandy Sims. Don't ask me about nothing else because I really don't know. Um, let's go ahead. Yeah, we're gonna do that stream. And Kaylani's working on her term paper. I know that's right. You do that shit, girl. After we're done streaming, we're gonna film a YouTube video and then we're going to go to the nail salon and get our nails and toes did. But if you want to get famous, I love the Switch streaming mod. It makes getting famous a lot easier. I also love the Road to Fame mods. Ugh, how rude. Chat comment. You only have views because of your looks. And what about it? And what about it? You mad? Bitches is so mad, yo. Hoes is so pressed that Ashanti got viewers because she's fine. Like, okay, and what about it? But <laughs> like I was saying, y'all, the Road to Fame mod, I like to use that more for my rapper sims. I use the Road to Fame mod a lot for them to make music and upload music on SoundCloud and stuff. But yeah, the streamer mod is so cute. I love the comments, even the hate comments. It just adds realism to your game. I love when you talk to us. I'm early. I love you so much, Ashanti. She has 170 subscribers. So she's doing the damn thing. She has a lot more um, a lot more followers and subscribers, but I think that's just how the mod works. Same content every single time. Why are they being so rude today, y'all? Yeah, that's pissing her off. But whatever. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this done and we're gonna get the YouTube video done. And then I guess I will see you guys at the nail salon. All right, guys, we are at the nail salon with our girls. They're sitting here, got their little feet in the tub. We're here with our friend, Dominique. Oh my God, you can see her coochie. Okay, act like you didn't see that, please. But here we're here with our girl, Dominique. She also works at the strip club. And then we're here with Janae. You guys met Janae last night. My sis is so swollen and pregnant, oh my God my baby Ugh. and then we're also here with Sayori and she is also a strip club dancer you guys have not met her yet but that's Sayori she's so cute I love her but yeah the girls are just chilling at the nail salon this lot is by Sim City Girls oh I could have had I could have had her sit here with everyone else I think I'm gonna do that but this lot is by Sim City Girls. It's a nail salon and I think also like a hair salon, but the hair part isn't um, functional. It's like two, I don't know if it's two different. It's supposed to be two different lots, I think. Yeah, like the hair salon's over here and the nail salon's over here, but they're on the same lot. I love that. Um, the hair salon isn't um, functional, so we won't be going in there, but there's a little deco uh, front desk girl. It's super cute. I really love it. We have a deco front desk girl here too. I don't know where she is. Oh, she's right here. 
yeah it's such a cute little lot it's super girly and i think it's perfect because you know strippers got to keep their nails and feet did so we have this cute little lot to do that but yeah the girls are just relaxing i don't know if they can talk and relax at the same time hello can you come over here with the, the rest of us yeah i'm gonna have janae not janae i'm gonna have ashanti request a foot massage from the guy that's right here go ahead and do that sayori literally refuses to get up it's kind of pissing me off come here sit in this chair thank you all right so now they're all sitting together the girls are just relaxing they're chatting it up or whatever ashanti's talking to dominique and she's like hey girl like the club's been really crazy lately she's like yeah we have a lot of new employees it's super wild and so yeah they're just talking chilling doing what they do ashanti's getting her little feet seized rubbed ew why do her feet look like that i don't know why her feet are black and white girl you needed this pedicure didn't you i hope I pray that that is her sock because that is not cute. Does Janae have her socks on? Yeah. Oh, not the paparazzi. Y'all, I really forget that Ashanti dates a famous rapper and people actually care about who the fuck she is. Like, famous just for being pretty and dating a rapper? I'm not mad at it. I would if I could, honestly. She's trying to enjoy her little pedicure and here go the paparazzi. Should we pose for the paparazzi, y'all? Threaten paparazzi. Gesture, let's gesture wildly at the paparazzi. We, oh, we can't do it while we're getting our foot massage. Aw, oh, dang. Whatever. But yeah, the girls are just chilling at the little nail salon, getting pampered, getting their nails and feet did. Sayori is so pretty you guys I'm obsessed with her I made her myself and I'm really 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 proud she was a townie and I gave her a makeover so her traits are materialistic beautiful haughty talented seducer and pansexual so it says these sims can be attracted to all different kinds of sims regardless of their biological sex or gender identity she's out of the closet lover doesn't want a pregnancy right now alluring all of that and she's not famous she's just a strip club dancer y'all can keep that money all right she just wants the fame <laughs> period but yeah that's sayori we're gonna be playing with her a lot she's a stripper dominique Ugh, I hate that her whole cooch is just hanging out because of that dress and it looks so weird but Dominique she's a Taurus high maintenance natural artist shea butter baby fun loving you know would be happy to be pregnant and she's just working at the strip club to pay the bills you know just because she's a beautiful girl she's a serial romantic so she's a player and it says players will never cause other sims to get jealous no matter what they do so yeah she's a real flirty young girl she's like why not why not use what the lord gave me to make some money and pay my bills and i know that's right so this sim is by sierra the simmer if you guys want dominique she's by sierra the simmer shout out to her pledge to her patreon she makes the most beautiful sims but yeah, Ashanti's just over here getting her feetsies rubbed. Feeling inspired, I guess. Very happy. Yeah, y'all. We're just relaxing or whatever. Janae, you done? Why don't you get a foot massage? I know them pregnant feet swollen as fuck, bro. Let's get a foot massage from this girl. She's just standing here anyway. But yeah, y'all. I just love this lot. I think it's so cute, honestly. My favorite. And the paparazzi's still standing here. Ugh. We can't even relax in peace. Go ahead and get your foot massage, girl. Alright. I think we're gonna go out for a little girl's brunch after this. So I will see you guys there.
all right y'all we are on the way to a girl's brunch if you like this loading screen i just wanted to let you guys know that this loading screen is by bougie chloe if i haven't already told you guys um this is the pretty and popular loading screen pledge to her patreon i think it's only like five dollars maybe less i don't know but pledge to her patreon because she makes good cc pretty loading screens i really love her so go ahead and pledge to bougie chloe if you want to if you want this loading screen go ahead and do it it's worth it but we are here at the restaurant the same restaurant that we were at last night pierre bistro and bar oh not the chef's face is beat to the gods i know that's right over here look at our girl janae with her little belly can we ask to feel her belly she's just so cute Janae and Ashanti are like best friends so we're gonna ask to feel her baby because it's not weird if we do it yeah let's do it and then we're gonna go ahead and grab a table I'm gonna have Sayori grab them a table just so we oh let's reset the chef because if you don't the chef will literally stand out here all day so I reset him like a few times and then let's go ahead and request a table is she feeling the baby oh she's about to feel the baby Aww. hold on oh if the chef wasn't right here hold on i'm still gonna screenshot i'm still gonna screenshot because this is too cute yep yep hold on tab mode Let's get some different angles. Gotta get the thumbnail. I can't get it from right here because this damn chef is in the way. Maybe I can make it work. Yeah, nah, he's in the way. But we're gonna go ahead and sit at our table. She's about to request the table for the girls. Not Peeping Tom is the bartender. Oh my gosh, no oh okay all right sis okay this is my sim nadia um before kaylani moved in with ashanti she lived in the dorms i turned title tower into university housing and that's where nadia lives she's a rising star she's an artist i love that she's just busting it down in the middle of the restaurant <laughs> all right we're getting seated at our table no all right, the girls are getting seated. Is this our table? Is this gonna fit all of us? It better. How many of us are there? One, two, three, four. All right. Where are the other girls? Can y'all come sit? Sit. You can't sit here or something? You can sit here. Maybe she can't. Oh, I thought this bar was fully functional. Here, I'm gonna teleport her here. Come on. All right, sit down, please. All right. She's sitting down. The girls are chatting. I love just taking them out to brunch. And I love that they sat us outside because it's so cute. All right, so the girls are all just sitting and chatting. Everybody looks so cute. Oh, I love them. Let's go ahead and order some food. And guys, if you guys hear my um, smoke detector beeping, I'm sorry. I tried to play like some nice lofi music in the background for you guys. So please don't get mad at me. <laughs> but let's... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Let's order some. Oh, I forget Janae can't drink. But let's order some mimosas. I'm going to have her get a mimosa. And they're going to get um, margaritas. And yeah, let me give her this margarita. Janae, you're going to have to just have water. I'm going to edit this menu and put some non-alcoholic shit on there so she can eat more than just that. But Dominique's going to have a Caesar salad. Um, Sayori is going to have the linguine. Um, you know what? Janae is going to have that too. And Ashanti is going to have the grilled salmon. 
and everybody got food and drink all right so that's what we're gonna order today why are you dizzy ashanti what's going on ashanti's oh it's because her period's finna come she's pmsing all right can't help you with that sis so yeah the girls are just out for brunch i just wanted you guys to meet everybody and see all the girls together everybody pretty much knows everybody Saori does not know Janae though for some reason. I don't know. Maybe their paths have never crossed. I'm gonna have Janae introduce herself. And I believe we know everyone else here. Yep. All right. We're good. So yeah, Janae used to work at the strip club, Ashanti strip club, but she's pregnant now. Oh, our man is here. Dion. Oh, you finna eat with somebody? I wish you would sit with. Okay. All right, he might just be eating alone, but if a bitch comes and sits next to him, we gonna have some problems, for real. But let's just wait and see. Maybe he's just, I don't know what he doing. Cause if he watching us at our girl's lunch, we gonna send his ass away. Cause that's weird. Yo, I don't think nobody coming to sit with him. Oh, oh. Maybe she's just a fan. What's this, y'all? What is this? Ashanti, you peeping this? What's this little magnifying glass? Wait, that's a girl from a stud being nearby? Who's a stud? I guess she confused. But she didn't see nothing about no cheating. So maybe she's all right. It's fall, you guys. I'm really exciting. Really excited for a Thanksgiving special. Even though it's not Thanksgiving in real life. I don't know. But yeah, we're waiting for our food. One of the things that I do when I'm at a restaurant. I don't know if I already told you guys. But I do this serve food cheat. I promise you. If your food's already done in the back. It will come out. Alright. But let's go ahead and get to gossiping with the girls. I want to have her talk to Janae a little bit. And we're just going to talk just girly things, you know. We're going to ask her about her love life. Let's go ahead and stack some of these actions or some of these interactions let's brag about surviving food poisoning okay and then let's what else do we have let's compare our streaming tips for switch and then dominique and sayori are gonna chat as well let's have them chat it up friendly let's hmm Let's compliment her art because she's an artist. She makes art. So let's compliment her art. Oh, we got to pay bills today, y'all. Fuck. We're good for it, though. We're good for it. Let's have a deep conversation. And yeah, Dion, you gonna have to go away. Because I don't like how he's just literally sitting there trying to spy on Ashanti. It's giving toxic. It is. Oh, I like how we all had to get up once Dion left because I knew he was fucking watching us. Sit together. We got to do all this conversation stuff over again. Let's ask about her day and they'll just chat amongst themselves. And then friendly. Hmm. Let's ask Ashanti if she has a Birkin. Like, hey, I know you and Dion have been together for a while. Has he bought you a Birkin yet? Because Big Baby said he was going to get me a Birkin for my push gift. You know how bitches be getting push gifts for when they push their baby out? Yeah. Big Baby brought her a push gift and it was a Birkin. So she's like, girl, you have a Birkin? My man got me a Birkin. Let's ask her about her love life. Let's, what else can we do? <laughs> what else let's give her some relationship advice she is in no position to be giving anybody any type of relationship advice but let's just go with it 
So yeah, the girls are just chatting. After this, um, I'm gonna see you guys back at the strip club, but we just wanted to go out for a cute little brunch. And yeah, just do what we do. I think this is our food right here. Yeah, our food's here. Mm, this should look good. Look at these drinks. I think I already told you guys, these are the Insomnia, um, Insomnia Custom Bar Drinks. And they look so good. Look at that mimosa. That mimosa looks so much better than the EA, the Maxis mimosa. And that strawberry margarita looks so good. That shrimp linguine looks so good. I know that's right. The girls are living lavish, honey. And it's good that the food came because Janae was starting to get hungry. We have a thing with Nadia. My sim profiles don't work, but it says we have a sentiment. I don't know how, but. So yeah, they're just talking. They're talking about the men in their lives. So he's like, I'm still single. I'm waiting for the right nigga to come around. You know, I'm not really trying to, you know, get into the dating scene right now because it seems like every dude I talk about or every every dude that I start to get confident about right after that, he does some weird shit. And Dominique's like, girl, well, it's a lot of it's a lot of bums out there like honestly you gotta date around until you find the right one and you know Sayori's like yeah girl but once I tell them a strip once I tell them I'm a stripper they start not to feel me no more or they treat me like a sexual object and shit so they just gossiping amongst themselves Sayori's talking about her love life and everything like that the girls are just chatting it up and I love this for them. So, um, Kehlani is at home. I guess she just got back from school a little while ago. So I feel bad we didn't invite her to brunch with us, but she had to go to school, so whatever. Y'all, these bar drinks make me so happy. It looks so cute to just see them drinking. All right, we're just about done here. We went to the nail salon. We had a cute little brunch. So I think now I'm just gonna see you guys at the strip club tonight. We're gonna go to work and you guys are gonna see all the strippers and hopefully there's not too much ass and too much titties flying around to where I can't post it. But I'll definitely give you guys some snippets of the club, you know, if um, I can't keep their clothes on. So I'm just gonna see you guys at the strip club tonight. We are done having our little girls brunch. Ugh, why is she looking so evil like that? I don't like that. And are you high? She is fucking smacked, y'all. Do y'all see the waiter? She is smacked. But yeah, ooh, let me get a thumbnail once their little thought bubbles go away. Or can I just go to tab? Yeah, let me get some thumbnails of the girls at their little cute little brunch. But yeah, I'm gonna see you guys at the strip club.